Hello all, welcome. In this video, we are going to see about Sea Urchin, CSIR Net Previous Year Question Concept Series, Developmental Biology Unit 5, CSIR Net Life Science Portion. It will also be of great help to get life science candidates. And you are watching this on Life Science Library. First question. From November 2020. Several marine organisms release their gametes into environment, where sperm attraction and subsequent event leads to successful fertilization. With reference to sea urchin, which of the following statement is not true? The concept behind this is, consider a sea urchin. <coughs> sea urchin is a marine organism where they release gamete outside the end outside in the water consider protein like yeast that these are the chemo attractant they attract the corresponding sperms they go and attach with the sperm and they attract the sperm towards the Egg. Chemo attractant. They release both the gametes into the environment and the fertilization takes place there. Now, with regard to sea urchin, we are we will be seeing about polyspermy prevention. Two types. First type is fast block by depolarization, changing the membrane potential. Second type is by slow block, slow block by calcium 2 plus cortical granule exocytosis. Okay. By keeping all this in the mind. Let us see what can be the best possible option for a statement which is not true. You are going to find the incorrect statement. Addition of these start into the drop of water sea containing sperm specifically attracts the sperm. This is the right answer. IP3 formed initially. So IP3 help in calcium help in my pen. Okay. Okay. Okay coming. Help in calcium 2 plus sequestration by GPCR signaling pathway. Okay. So this statement is correct. Calcium 2 plus prevents docking of cortical granule egg membrane. No, it is incorrect statement. They help in cortical granule exocytosis. Inhibitors that specifically block I that is uh, possible IPS C gamma can be circumvented by micro injecting IP3. This is a correct statement. C is the answer for this question. Next statement Membrane bound Golgi derived structures containing proteolytic enzymes in the sperms of CHN are called <coughs> acrosomal vesicle. This is this this is this come from the sperm. So consider this as a sperm. Sperm have Golgi structures, Golgi derived structures, and it is present in the acrosome. Sperm have three parts: that is head region, acrosome, midpiece, and tail region. This Golgi derived structure is present in the head region, that is acrosome. Three parts: that is acrosome. That is head region, midpiece, third option is tail region, okay. DBT JRF 2019, which one of the following assures the prevention of polysperm polyspermy in egg? Assures the prevention of polysperming in egg. 
is it by acrosome reaction acrosome reaction is nothing but one of the event that occurs during fertilization when sperm enter ova this can't be the answer cross linking between zpi and zpd this occur in human fertilization nothing to do with ci archer okay activation of pi3 kinase what is pi3 it should be ip3 itself is a wrong statement b is the right answer june 2018 fertilization in ci archer involves calcium 2 plus release from the endoplasmic reticulum of cortical granule reactivation the major molecule responsible for releasing wait okay calcium 2 plus from intracellular stores that's just now i said they are linked with gpcr signaling system where ip3 pathway is involved so the answer is inositol 145 triphosphate is the answer so for 57th question c is the right answer next from june sorry from june 2018 given below the few statements regarding the role of dishweld and beta catenin in development of sea urchin so let's need to have a basic knowledge about the cleavage pattern and the micromeres and the macromeres present in the sea urchin okay <coughs> first first statement dishweld is localized in the vegetal cortex of the oocyte before fertilization in the region of 16 cell embryo and they are about to become micromeres last statement beta catenin is prevented from entering the nucleus and the embryo develops as a ciliated ectodermal ball this is also a wrong statement this question needs more explanation let's come to the question last experiment based question In the given experiment, the transplantation of micromeres from the vegetal pole of 16-celled sea urchin embryo onto the animal pole or host of 16-celled sea urchin embryo could initiate. Basic thing is, in sea urchin, invagination occurs. Invagination occurs. Ingression will not occur. This is a basic thing. So. all the statement becomes wrong a is the right answer this is a static part when you see about the development of sea urchin they form blastula gastrula in gastrula three germ layers are formed while forming three germ layer they involved in the formation of archenteron this will undergo invagination to form germ layers blast seal and all those things so a is the right answer okay now hope this question is graph the picture is visible 78th question fertilization of sea urchin with regard to fertilization of sea urchin i have said one simple thing fast block involves depolarization we have seen this term depolarization when we study about nervous system where calcium consider this is a medium where the calcium comes in sorry potassium comes in and the calcium go out two calcium go out and the potassium comes in so the charge in the membrane changes this is called as depolarization so na plus should be high and k plus should be low this is na plus is low not na plus is low not both are equal not so c is the right answer that's it next about c h in fertilization restart and spermat are the peptides released in the egg jelly help in sperm attraction correct Binding is an acrosperm protein, so new binding is a new statement for us. What is binding? Consider this as a sperm. Sperm will have specific protein called as binding protein. This protein will 
be very specific to the specific ova of the species when they go and attach to the receptor in the ova they are very specific to this receptor b is also right statement respiratory burst occurs during the cross linking of fertilization envelope wherein the calcium dependent increase in the oxygen levels are observed no decrease in the oxygen levels respiratory burst occur when there is decrease in the <coughs> oxygen <coughs> level ip3 is formed at the site of sperm entry and sequestrates calcium leading to the cortical granule exocytosis this is correct we are going to find incorrect statement c a c only c is the answer a is the right answer december 2016 December 2015 successful fertilization of sea urchin demands specific interaction between proteins and receptors of sperm and egg in the view of above which of the following combination are correct binding in acrosome and binding receptor on the egg vitel line membrane envelope binding in the egg membrane binding will not be present in the egg membrane galak statement proteasomes on the egg membrane and complex sugars on the sperm membrane here we are going to demands the specific interaction between proteins and the receptors of sperm and egg nothing to do with proteasome restart on egg jelly and sperm no here is the right answer because restart is released by the ova to attract to sperm binding has nothing to do with restart this is wrong statement a is the right answer okay december 2014 For successful fertilization in sea urchin, the interaction between the surface of egg and acrosomal protein, specifically 30.5 kilodalton protein, is called as binding, is necessary. Following factors could affect the interaction between fertilization. Factors that prevent. We are going to find the factors that prevent fertilization. Okay. Removal of egg jelly polysaccharide has nothing to do with preventing fertilization. A can't be right answer. Removal of binding receptors on egg vitelline membrane. This is this can be a possible factor that affect fertilization. So for one thirty second question, D statement. removal of binding receptors from the egg single cluster single cluster has nothing to do with anything so d can't be the answer removal of binding receptor from egg jelly egg jelly has not has don't will not have binding receptor first of all so c is not right answer d is right and not right answer removal of binding receptors from egg vitel line membrane this can be a possible answer removal of egg jelly polysaccharide when we see as such removal of egg jelly polysaccharide has nothing to do with fertilization so this cannot be a wrong answer this but still egg jelly polysaccharide will have a role in preventing polyspermy help in the formation of hyaline membrane formation of hyaline membrane so for all this this polysaccharide is essential So, A and B, C is the right answer. Polyspermy, June two thousand thirteen. Polyspermy result when two or more sperms fertilize an egg. It usually a lethal change is result in the blastomeres with the different numbers and types of chromosome. We have two mechanism to block polysomes: fast and slow. We already speak about fast and slow block. It refers to influx of sodium ions not e flux so b is the wrong statement slow block occurs with cortical granule reaction exocytosis mediated by calcium ion c is the correct statement a is the correct statement not potassium ions is not involved in the cortical granule d is wrong statement a and c is the right answer next question practice question during fertilization in amphibians Fusion of egg and sperm plasma is preceded by 
we are going to see the series of events occurring events first thing i have seen I, we have seen about chemo attraction free start protein we now we have seen in the previous year question chemo attraction so c is the first event we have c here number 1 okay next release of enzymatic content from acrosomal vesicle one should understand one point here where ah uh, in ova ova will not be the same they are surrounded by a jelly membrane only they will have a binding receptors here so when the sperm has to enter they should spears this egg jelly to pierce this egg jelly enzymatic contents of acrosomal vesicle should come out so this is first statement this is second statement next binding binding of binding and interaction of sperm with once it enters this once it cross this jelly membrane it can attach with the binding receptors present on the surface of the egg so three state third statement then if it is bind if it bind with this membrane it can easily enters into the ova d is the fourth statement so c then a then b then d c is the right answer this question we will do in different class okay last pore region of amphibian embryo that secretes bmp inhibitors this is from frog frog topic amphibian development december 2011 that is sperm and organizer now we will come back to the question that needs so many explanation the dish weld and all those Now let's try to decode this question coming back to June 2018. Long space, okay. Deschevel and beta catenin specify micromeres. What are micromeres? Egg cell. They divide by various cleavage. Each form micromere, okay. Deschevel. and beta catenin they involved in the specification of micromeres deschevel and beta catenin are mostly found in cytoplasm and they enter into nucleus for their expression during oogenesis Deschevel become localized in the vegetal cortex. So, what is vegetal cortex? Consider this as a egg. One side of the pole is the vegetal pole, other is the animal pole. In vegetal pole, we have yolk. This deschevel is present in the vegetal cortex of the egg. This is another point. Next thing. beta catenin where beta catenin is present beta catenin is present in micromere and wedge to tire macromere this beta catenin will enter into nucleus where it combined with tcf protein and give expression beta catenin specify micromeres they are responsible for the development of endoderm and mesoderm these are the basic concepts so what beta catenin and deschevel to do where they are present what are their significance and how beta catenin is being expressed 
these are the concept with this concept let us try to answer this question of june 2018 given below are the few statements regarding the role of dishwald and beta catenin in the development of in the development of sea urchin dish is localized in the vegetal cortex of oocyte before fertilization in the region of 16 celled embryo and become micromeres dish is localized in cytosol in a oocyte during oogenesis and in the micromere forming blastomeres in 16 celled embryo cat that is beta catenin accumulates predominantly in the micromeres and somewhat in the wedge tier 2 this is a short short question the same statement we have seen see dish will becomes located in the vegetal cortex egg when beta catenin is prevented from entering the nucleus embryo develops as a ciliated ectoderm it's not ciliated dish will is localized in the cytosol of oocyte during or it's not during it's before <coughs> oogenesis so a is the right answer C is the right answer. It is not in the cytosol during oogenesis. B is wrong answer. Treatment of embryos with lithium chloride. With lithium chloride treatment, the right statement is treating of sea urchin embryos with lithium chloride. Allo, lithium chloride. Allo, beta catenin to accumulate in the every cell and transform presumptive ectoderm to endoderm. This is a new learning that is treating sea urchin embryo with lithium chloride helps in the accumulation of beta catenin this forms conversion of formation of endoderm from ectoderm Now see what is present here. Treatment of embryos with lithium chloride does not allow the accumulation of beta catenin. No, it will allow the accumulation of beta catenin. D is wrong answer. It's not present in the cytosol during oogenesis. It will enter nucleus. B is wrong answer. When catenin is prevented entering the nucleus, it develops into a ciliated ectodermal wall. So why it is present in the ciliated ectodermal wall? Wall. outside of the sea urchin will have spines will have cilia that is ectoderm this is how sea urchin occurs sea urchin looks like if it is not if it is prevented it will form ectoderm so e is the right answer c is the right answer lithium chloride will allow accumulation d is wrong answer a is right answer so C is the correct answer for this question. So far we have seen all the questions from